Grade 5 Math, number 35, Sequence Patterns with Decimals. A sequence is an ordered list of numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and a term is each number in a sequence. So each of those numbers are a term, okay? We covered this in the last video, but I want to go over it again. When we add or subtract decimals, the most important thing to remember is to keep our decimal points lined up and straight and perfect. Just as we add or subtract whole numbers, we would never mix up the place values. We keep them straight. If we added 5 to 217, we wouldn't put it under the tens place. We'd put it under the ones place. We keep our place values straight. So, when we're adding decimals, we wouldn't put the tenths underneath the hundredths. We would put it under the tenths, okay? So we add and subtract the decimals just as we add and subtract whole numbers. And we start with the far right place value, okay? All right, every June, Tala's boss gave her $1.50 per hour raise. If she started the job in 2011 at $9.25 per hour, how much does she make in July of 2016? Well, she started at $9.25 per hour in 2011, and we're going to go up by $1.50 every year, right? Every June, it says. So in June of 2012, she got a raise, and now she's making $10.75. In June of 2013, she got another raise, and now was making $12.25. In June of 2014, she got another raise, and now she increased to $13.75, in June of 2015, she got another raise. She's at $15.25. And then in June of 2016, she got the other raise and is at $16.75. See? Because it says July, we know she got her June raise. See? In 2016. So the terms increased by $1.50 each time. That was the sequence. See? It just kept going up by $1.50. You'd be able to tell what she's going to make in 2018, wouldn't you? You'd be able to figure that out. She would be able to figure out her finances and to know how much she was going to be making then, what she could afford. All right, we can also find a missing term by looking at a sequence. If you saw this, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2.0, can you see what the sequence is doing? Is it increasing or decreasing? And what the pattern is? One and two tenths, one and four tenths, one and six tenths, one and eight tenths. Well, if you said it's increasing by two tenths, you're correct. So the very next number would be two tenths more than this, or 2.2, .2, right? Two and two tenths. And then the next number would be two tenths more, two and four tenths, wouldn't it? All right, how about this one? What is it doing? It's at 19.9, nine and nine tenths. Then it drops to 16 and 6 tenths. What was the change? Well, what's the difference between 19 and 9 tenths and 16 and 6 tenths? Can you see the difference? It dropped by 3 and 3 tenths. Now look, it dropped to 15 and three tenths. So it dropped by one and three tenths. So it did three and three tenths and then it dropped to one and three tenths. Would you be able to answer this one? Minus three and three tenths and then minus one and three tenths. So the question is, would you be able to answer this next one? You know what? You can't. We can't do this one because we don't have enough information, do we? So sometimes when you're doing a sequence, you don't have enough given information to be, to be able to answer the next one. We don't have enough of a pattern. It only changed two times, see? All right, what about this one? You should be able to do this one. Two and one-tenth, five and one-tenth, three and one-tenth, six and one-tenth. What is it doing? It went from two and one tenth to five and one tenth. What's the difference between the two of them? Well, if you said it increased by three, you're right. By three whole, right? No tenths, because the tenths are all staying the same. Then what did it do? It went from five and one tenth to three and one tenth. 
So it went down by two whole, didn't it? Now what did it do? From three and one tenth to six and one tenth. It increased by three, didn't it? Now what did it do? Six and one tenth to four and one tenth. Well, if you said it went down by two again, you're right. So now do we have enough information to do this next one? What do you think it'll do? We've got plus three minus two plus three minus two. So we do have the sequence in a pattern, don't we? The next one should be plus three. What is four and one tenth plus three? Do you know? If you said seven and one tenth, you're right. So you compare the second term to the third term. Then when you get to that one, you compare that one to the second one and to the fourth one, and then you move over and compare that one to the third one and the fifth one, and you keep comparing each one to the one in front of it and behind it to see what the pattern is. And remember, sometimes you don't have enough information to solve it, do you? So keep your eyes open. So those are sequences and patterns with decimals. They're the same as sequences and patterns with whole numbers. Remember what a sequence is, that it's an ordered list of numbers, and that a term is each number in the sequence and that you should be able to figure it out, okay? Keep your decimals straight. Sorry about my dog barking. I think she sees a squirrel. I'll see you next video. Bye.